Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope y'all are having a great motherfucking Wednesday or whatever. Everybody looks to their left. Everybody looks to their right. Anyways, today, as you can probably tell by the title, um, we are going to be checking on my plants that I put in LECA um, a couple months ago now. Not sure how many months ago off the top of my head. Please make sure to leave a like or a dislike. You know, whichever you feel like leaving. If you be looking for plant stuff, I got you. And that subscribe button be down there or be up here. So, those are your options. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna freaking get right into this video because y'all be clicking off. Anyways into the plants. All right, guys, so the first plant we're going to be looking at is my Raphidophora tetrasperma, and I just need to grab her really quick, so. Before we do that, here's a little before clip. So basically, this is how big she is now. She has just been loving it in the LECA, and I'm happy that she is happy. She is a little dusty though, so if you clock that, um, no you didn't. Um, I do think I need to get a trellis or, um, some kind of stake for her soon though, because she just be getting long and wants to climb on stuff, because she has all these aerial roots. She could get bigger leaves if I put her on a freaking stake or something, which is what I would like. So... You'll probably see that in like a repotting soon or something. I actually have not checked the roots on her for at least over a month, maybe even two months. So that's what we're going to do now is go ahead and look at the roots um, through the pot. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry, the pot is like gross right now, but please ignore that. Or, oh my God, she is bending. She was not like this a little bit ago. What the heck is happening? All right, well, that's just another example of why I need to get a stake for her because now she is going crazy. But anyways, but her roots are here and they are just growing around the sides. Honestly, not as crazy as I was expecting them to be, but they are definitely there, you know? <laughs> I don't know if y'all will be able to see that, but there's some good root action right here on the side. But yeah, ignore the mess, but she's just chilling right here now. I propped her up against this thing. <laughs> it's like a shelf or something, I don't know. She does have this little damage on the sleeve right here that I don't know what it came from. I don't know if she got burned by the grilled lights or my cat swiped her or something. Oh, and she also has a new leaf coming in that... I think I forgot to talk about as well. Anyways, on to the next plant. All right, guys. So the other plant that I had in LECA was a monster at Insoniae. So I will show y'all her before right now. And this is her after. I know. So yeah, this is what she's looking like. Um, so basically, she rotted in the LECA, or at least a part of her rotted, because her roots were doing fine for a while, and she was putting out new growth, and she was acting all happy or whatever, like she was loving the LECA, you know. One day I just saw her leaning, and I was like, oh, that's weird. And then she just kept leaning further and further, and then I went to go readjust her, and her whole, like, stem just came off from the root system like completely off and i was like what the heck because this is literally the third time this plant has rotted on me so so she has a pretty significant root system now i've had her in water for at least a month and i've really been needing to repot her as you can probably tell these leaves look so sad and just like malnourished um, she has these like little baby leaves that came out, so she did have some new growth. Um, she just looks really sad though. I just need to record this video to repot her, so that is what we're here to do now. So basically, we are going to be repotting this girl in 
not Lekka because I don't want that to happen again. So we're just going to be putting her back in some good old regular soil. So yeah, let's get right into that. But I'm hoping after I put her in the soil, she'll start looking a lot happier and less sad. And I hope she doesn't rot on me again. I'm gonna need y'all guys' help. Um, please leave a comment praying for this monster at Sonii and that she will grow back and become huge and love me again. I got my stuff to repot with. So let's go ahead and take her out of her propagation thing. Please don't break off roots. Wow, 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 wow. I am impressed. Look at that. Oh my god. Does that can y'all even see all of that? Hold on, let me use my face. <laughs> Look at that. She got a little little curly too. A little curly for a moment. But yeah, so she is definitely real ready to be rooted up. And this is two different cuttings that I think are actually just connected now. So I guess it's one cutting, but they have just combined. Yeah, I'm not really complaining. Anyways, let's freaking do this. So basically, I got this pot for her. Now we're just gonna take our propagation. Try to get her situated in here. <laughs> now I'm gonna try and fill up the rest with some soil. All right, I think she has enough soil now. So now we're just going to water her again. Here is what she is looking like now. All up in her own little pot. Yes, she does look sad, but hopefully she will you know, kind of turn around. Okay, this is me totally exposing myself for wearing pajama pants right now. But um, yeah, I just want to show y'all up close. This is what she's looking like. That soil mixture looking cute. Also, I didn't mention my soil mixture in this video because I already have a video for that. So if you have not seen it, maybe you want to go ahead and watch it maybe. I don't know. Hopefully she's going to grow back a lot stronger and healthier. Yeah, so pray for her, y'all. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you didn't, you can leave a dislike button. Or not leave a dislike button, but you know. If you be looking for plant content, I got you. That's what I mainly upload here on this channel. So maybe you want to hit that subscribe button or whatever. <laughs> anyways, um, I'll probably do another update on these plants in the future just to show y'all how they doing. That's basically it, so I'ma go now. Bye, y'all.